Hello, guys. Hello, Hi, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? Yes or no? Okay. Good, good. I'm glad to see you guys. How was your week? Oh, better say not your week, your your day. How was your day? I am asleep all day. Oh, because you you have to work all night, right? Teacher. Hi, because you had to work all night, right? Yes, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, but um, so you were sleeping all day long? Uh, yes, yes. I, I, uh, six hours. Six hours? Uh, yes, I, I wake up to eat and uh, me vuelvo a acostar. And you went back to sleep? Back to sleep, yeah. Wow. In That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you had a nice rest then. That's that's the important thing. You rested. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Good, good, good. And the rest of you guys, how were how was your day? How was your day, guys? Pretty good? <laughs> huh? Fine. Good, yeah? Okay. All right. Um, excellent. I'm glad to hear that, guys. Uh, well, let's start right away with our, our attendance. So I have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. <laughs> Wonderful. Andres? Present. All right. Edgar? Edgar? No? Okay. Uh, Janet? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Fabiola? Present teacher. Wonderful. Katie? Present teacher. Good, thank you. Welcome. And Irene? Irene? Not here, Irene. Okay. Uh, Ivan? Ivan? No? Okay. Johnny? Johnny not here? Okay. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. Welcome, Josue. Um, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Juan Francisco. Jury? Jury, no, okay. Carla? Present teacher. Wonderful welcome, Carla. Uh, and Carla, are you having problems with the camera? No, teacher, sorry. I'm here. Um, Melissa? Okay. Uh, Luis? Luis, is Luis here? No. Okay. Manuel? Teacher. Welcome, Manuel. Marvin. Thank you. Marvin, is Marvin here? Present teacher. Welcome, Marvin. Wendy, is Wendy here? Present. Okay. Uh, welcome, Wendy. And Marvin. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I guess. Can you hear me, Warner? Or are you having trouble? Present teacher. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, I, Yvonne? Present. Okay, welcome. Um, Francisco? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Francisco. Hi, Edgar. Oh, Edgar, huh? Yes. I just I said yeah. Francisco, and he said hello. Good morning. Hello. Okay, so <laughs> Francisco is Francisco here? No. Okay. Uh, Jenny, is Jenny here? Jenny? No? Okay. All right. Let me just make sure that I have everybody. Okay. So, Evgan just came in. Uh, Irene? Irene is not here. Ivan? Johnny? Melissa? Uh, Luis Ernesto, uh, Warren, okay, uh, and um, Juan, sorry, and Francisco Javier and Jenny. Those are the ones that I didn't hear. Okay, everybody. Okay. All right, guys, so uh, welcome to today's class. Uh, we are going to start with our PowerPoint. So please tell me when you can see my image. I read us on my PowerPoint. All right. Yes, teacher. We see yes, it. Teacher. You can see it? Okay, good. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're looking at uh, module, uh, sorry, this is beginner module um, six, unit three at the HR procedures. The date is um, is uh, the, uh, Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. And uh, the day is 13, your, facilita your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so um, we're going to start first of all, let's see. So um, we're going to start with this activity, which was um, the activity of the I assigned for homework. Okay, so write sentences about people in your company and their positions using the words in part two. So this was the homework that I left for you guys to do. Then you're gonna join your assigned breakout room and share your sentences in small groups, okay? So remember in your book, in your manual, you should have seen the faces here. So you had to do six sentences about the, uh, about the people in your company, their positions, what they do, right? What are their requirements in their positions, okay? All right, so everybody did that, right? Yes, no. Hello, guys. Everybody did that? <laughs> okay. In that case, guys, um, I am going to uh, give you guys um, about 10 minutes. I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes to talk about it with your group. Okay. You're going to have about three to four people in your group. Okay, I'm going to open up the rooms right now. So go ahead and join.
Hello, Ivan. Uh, we're hello, Ivan. Can you hello, Ivan? Can you hear me? Hello, Miss Jessica. I can hear you very well. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Everybody, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, your your daughter is there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign you to a group. You're going to be um, sharing the sentences that you did for homework, which about were about the job positions of your coworkers. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to send you right now over there. Thanks. You're welcome. Hello, Irene. Hello. How are you? Excellent. How are you? Uh, I'm excellent, nice. Good, excellent. Okay, so Irene, I'm going to right now send you to one of the groups. Uh, what you're going to do is share with your group the sentences that I asked you for homework, which were about the job positions from your classmates. Okay. Okay. All right. So right now I'll send you over. Here you go. Okay. Um, plus. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Porque Me estamos escucha. haciendo eh, ahorita las últimas porque no habíamos terminado la tarea. In my case, teacher, I, I just made three. Okay, well, share whatever you have, share it because todo, o sea, se va a ir todo el tiempo y ustedes no van a compartir nada, ¿verdad? Share what you have and then you can do whatever, you can do more if you want, but I, I want you guys to share right now, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. okay. For example, in my case, I write about three uh, positions in my workplace. Uh, the first one is operator talent. Uh, this person is in charge of keep organizing and clean the floor, tables, and the bathrooms. And the second one is the cashier. The person is in charge of a pickup Number three and number four. Number two. Uh -huh. Number two is part two. Uh, yes. Yeah. This but. is for the homework. You did the homework, right? Uh, is it on the tarea? No. No. Why? What happened? <laughs> Bye. Necesito que hagan la tarea siempre porque si no, pues cuando hacemos estos grupos no podemos hacer nada porque como no tenemos nada que compartir, right? So I, yeah. I need you guys to be doing the homework. That shouldn't have taken you very long. That yeah. homework would have taken you maybe like five to ten minutes. Okay, so, okay. all right, for next time, share right now whatever you can verbally, okay? There's only <laughs> about four minutes left. Okay. Okay. Because, um, well, actually I'm on vacations and I will go back to work on Friday. 
and I want to know what the bank says. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with us. Well, I think that is going to be a good opportunity. If you want to have a, a, a save money that, that maybe that is going to be a good reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Come on, you are talking about other things. We are in class. <laughs> <laughs> will, you will find out we didn't do our homework. Oh, uh, we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another. I, I'm trying to find what is the connection. <laughs> what he's saying and, and the homework, I was like, uh, what's going on? Uh, everyone, everyone is talking about that. About, thing. Yeah. Well, about, I, I, to, about Bitcoin. About, about Bitcoin. One class, one coworker sent me a, like a two links using a reference number <laughs> in two exchange that he opened, he, he opened an account. For, he, for... To get $5, they, they, they get $5 if someone re register in that website with that code. <laughs> oh my God, it's really fast, that man. <laughs> wow, so, so what you mean is that people get $5? Yes, it, for example, if you, if you register in a website, uh, like uh, whatever, doesn't matter what, but if you register there, you get a, a reference code and they gave, they, gave, they give you a $5 if you reference another person. Oh, refer. The refer. refer person. As you refer who, who another person. Who does that? Uh, one class co-worker. Oh. And, and you okay. tried already. So or do you want careful. to know what? Be careful. Yes, yes, it's, 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 it's necessary to know where are you going to go in. So anyway, uh, what about um, your coworkers? What do they do? Well, we, yeah. we, we talk about that if we think that we, we, we don't have a specific per person that make all that's a, those, those position. Maybe one person do all those, she prepared the coffee, she prepared, and she cleaned. Okay, but whatever. You, you did discuss with your partner? Almost. Okay, all right, I'll give you a few more minutes and so then I'll see you guys in the main room, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, I think it's very good. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, I yes. I think <laughs> I think yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Great. All right. I'll see you guys in a in a few seconds. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, what else? <laughs> okay. I I responsible for the administrator of all benefits. Okay. Uh, Irene, I responsible or I am responsible? I am responsible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. How's it going, Fabiola? Better? Yes, teacher. I try. <laughs> good, good. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm really happy that you're with us, and I thank you. Uh, you're doing better. You're feeling better. Um, for moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? Unfortunately, um. The bad news is that that's something that's going to happen for a long time. I'm sorry, <laughs> I really am. But um, yeah, that doesn't go away. You know, it's not something that you know in a few days it's going to go away and going to say, yeah, you're going to be perfect. That takes 
months. Yeah. Well, I mean, it can take up to months. Like, I mean, some people in weeks, they feel better, but some people months, so. In my case, um, because it's second, second, how do you say best? Time. Sí, segunda vez. Ah, eso segunda vez. Sí. Y es confirmado. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. como que. I'm sorry. Por eso. I'm really sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm Thank sorry. you. Yeah, but just just do your best. I, 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 that's you know, it's very unfortunate, but you know, just do your best. You know, and, and um, you know, um, do all everything that is that the doctors recommend. Do it. You know, it's gonna go like with time. You will feel better, but you just have to be patient. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. are you girls ready? Can we go and check now? Yes. All right, I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Ya saben que la teacher está acá, ¿verdad? Ok. All right, guys. Um, ok, so. Before anything, I do want to address something. I know that you guys have a very busy schedule. I, 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 I know that. I understand that. I feel it because I, I, I do too. I, I really do. Um, and I, I know that you guys, you know, have lots of things to do. And, you know, sometimes, you know, there isn't very much time to, for, for English and everything. But remember that the idea here is to learn, right? To, because this is the opportunity that you've been given, right? And these, these class, this, uh, this time it like, I mean, even though I'm not going to be evaluating you and saying I'm going to give you a number because that's in the platform, but being in class and participating and and you know uh, and being able to work with your your your, your classmates—that's all part of the process of learning. So it's really important that we make the time to do the homework. Um, you know, it, I'm, I'm not going to assign a long piece of homework. You know, it's something that can easily take you five, 10 minutes, right? I think, I think that all the people that every, everybody that did the homework probably took about five, 10 minutes, right? So it's really not that long. I know you guys are tired and it's all, you know, you have a lot of things to do, but you know, five, 10 minutes, I think we can probably do it. And the reason, and the reason I mentioned in this is because I'm interested in you guys being able to work with your partners, to have the opportunity of speaking, of listening, of, of um, you know, having the fluency and the pronunciation. And if we don't do the homework, um, if we, uh, you know, if we're not, um, if we have nothing to, to share, then we can't do that, right? We can't uh, practice the pronunciation. We can't do the fluency. You know, we waste our time writing when we can be speaking. So I, I ask you guys to please, um, you know, for next time, I, I, I mean, this is not for everybody. I know there are some people that, uh, you know, you took your time and did the homework and I appreciate that a lot. But I did notice that many of you didn't do it, right? So just 
you know, just a reminder, okay? So for next time, I hope that, you know, you will all be able to have your homework ready, okay? Okay, so um, I would like to hear some sentences uh, from different people. So Haiti, do you want to share a little bit with you, with us, what you wrote? Sure. Um, recruiting coordinator is responsible to bring candidates for new positions. Very. Uh, another one, benefit specialist is responsible uh, to bring benefits to all the employees in the company. And HR generalist is responsible to take disciplinary action in case of needed. And one somewhere. Okay, no, that's that's fine. That's good. That's good. Thank you very much, Haiti. Just okay. remember, is responsible for. Okay. Not to. Okay. And, and teacher, can I make a question? Sure. In our group, we are not sure about compensation specialist. Uh, we would like to know if it's responsible to pay the salaries or, or the responsibilities of, of compensation specialist. Yeah, the compensation specialist would be the person that is um, uh, in charge of all of the part um, that has to do with like, a, for example, if somebody, uh, you know, has like a, a sick leave, for example, um, they are the ones that are going to, you know, pay, they go through the payments and, and do all the, the, the paperwork uh, for the person um, uh, that, you know, anything that has to do with like the, what's the word, the employee's rights. They're the ones who- uh, It's not the, the, the payroll department directly. Uh, no, 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 not directly, but they, they make sure that, that all of the rights that the, you know, and, and, and yes, of course, payroll is part of, of the rights. Yes, but for example, I understand as you were explaining that, yes, of course, on our, during the year, for example, I can take five, uh, discretionary days or the equivalent uh, per hour. So if I'm missing in the company, there is uh, there is someone that is sending emails. Hey, you know, you are about to reach this and this. Are you going to take it? Or I don't know if that is the correct person taking care for compensation. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess that yeah, they would be in, um, in, uh, they would be in charge of that. So yeah, basically, um, any anything that has to do with your rights as an employee, mm. to make sure that they have like um, th that the pay the payment um, is correct, right? That the payment mm. for your your um, yeah for the payroll is correct. Uh, mm. The bonuses that the, you get. The commissions, the um, anything, um, anything that has to do with like a program compensation programs, like a, for example, imagine that you have a extra time. Yeah. Uh huh. Or for example, if you have like a an accident at work, that they compensate you as the uh, they they make sure that they compensate you for your time off uh, that you are not able to work and make sure that you are getting the payment and all of the things that you need you know that's that's what the, they do okay okay so it is very very similar to benefit specialists um they work together they work mm -hmm. together but the benefits are the ones like you know that they they give you benefits like uh you know vacation sure and uh trainings and things like that whereas compensation is more like um, yeah the, more the, the, comp the compensation is administrative for example uh, the pass the permission uh, and the play the payroll but not pay the money no que only is the administ administrative permission and administrator. Uh -huh. Yes. And this um, the compensation specialist 
eh, pass de payroll eh, review es revisar, ¿verdad? Review de payroll en check de correr en payroll department de payroll planillas pay the money. Exacto. So they are in charge of reviewing. Yeah, they review yes. that, that the the employee has the benefits. The, the, ban, the exactly. benefits and the compensation for everything. Compensation. All, of the, all the rights that they have that it's actually ah. given to them. In my company, benefits specialist is the one that always is looking for deals, discount coupons, etc. In my uh -huh. company. Yes, exactly. That is the benefits. Yeah. So benefits um, are not just money, no. like they're not just financial, you know, benefits could be, um, you know, yeah, like, for example, giving them coupons, you know, and discounts. And so they're not giving them money, but they're saving them money also uh, to like, uh, for example, programs like this, right? Like, like I'm here at, at um, English, uh, sorry, the um, Inglés para el trabajo, right? So looking for those kind of programs so they can help their employees to, uh, you know, have the training. Yes, this is a benefit. That's also it. a benefit. Okay, Got so it. benefits are not just money, right? The benefits are many, many things, right? Okay, also could be even benefits like for the family, you know, for the, the employees of the, the, sorry, the families of the employees, you know, they sometimes they give them as well some benefits. Right, so yeah, all of that. Does that make sense? Yes, now it's clear for me. Yeah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Um, okay, let me see. Any uh, let one, let me have one volunteer uh, give me their sentences, rip, um, share with the class. Only one, please. Only one. Teacher. <laughs> Me, teacher. Uh, okay, wonderful. I, I write the current is in charge of the HR generalist. And Camila is in charge of the administrative assist. Is a compensation specialist our responsibility to give prices to employees? Maybe. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay. Um, I just wanted to share something. Make sure you said, uh, you say, is responsible, responsible for, and then we have the verb plus ing. Okay. Um, Okay, I've written it in the chat, okay? So the blah, 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 blah is responsible for, and then you can say the verb plus sign G, right? So for example, um, the, the compensation specialist is responsible for making sure that the, uh, the employee's rights are met, okay? Is responsible for, making sure, making, I-N-G, okay? So okay. we say like that, or you can also say is responsible, Teacher, responsible is the... for, and then a noun, right? Okay, so, uh, so the compensation specialist is responsible for uh, comp the compensation, the compensation of employees' rights, okay? So we can also have a noun there. Okay. Uh, who was going to ask the question? Somebody had a question? Oh. Marvin yeah. Pitt. <laughs> yeah, oh. Marvin Pitt. No, yeah. Right. Marvin Pitt. <laughs> uh, in, the first, in the first responsibility, uh, I think uh, to e. But oh, sorry. Second it's is, misspelled, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Really, really. I, it's just I, with one I, I right? Uh huh. Yeah. But oh, I'm sorry. Probably, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's, I yeah, it's teacher. I, 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 sorry. Excuse my mistake. No, 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 lo vi bien. 
Sorry. Okay, teacher. The, I wrote you. it the second time I wrote it, then it's correct. Yeah. Oh, Thank by you, the teacher. way, it's responsible. It's with an I, not an A. Not like in Spanish. In Spanish, you say responsable with an A, but in English, it's an I. Respond. Uh -huh. Respond. How do you say responsible? Responsible. Teacher. Responsible. responsible. Yes, yes, Jerry. Responsible. Uh, when we use the responsible all the time, we are going to remember that we are going to say responsible for and those kind of sentence and bear bearing ing or uh, noun. Right. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a question regarding that because in my case the. I have, a, I have a sentence, the HR department is driving the cleaning Cuarepeque late. I don't know if I need to add campaign because they have, they use the name, let, they are doing, they are driving. They use, use that word, I remember. Uh, Managing maybe? A lot of the time I, I seen, the word driving, yes. I, I'm going to look for that because I have like one year not seeing those, but I remember. Como Man, usan como, yes. como campañas usan la palabra. Yo me acuerdo que es driving que la que usan. Es just por eso tengo la duda. Carrying out. Oh, drive, drive, creo que dicen. No, drive. Que van a hacer una, en lugar de campaña. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think uh -huh. I understand what you're saying. A drive. Uh -huh. Not a driving. A drive. Ah, pues a drive. Sería a drive. Yes. Y, entonces, en este caso, usando ese ejemplo, puedo decir, the HR department is responsible for, y yo solo digo, the cleaning lake drive. The cleaning y lo pongo lake drive. En lugar de campaign. The HR department. No, I would to say a drive. Because a cleaning aid, it, it sounds too complicated there. It just for the drive. Um, mm, it's better to use is responsible for uh, I handling or okay. For handling the drive, could be. Mm -hmm. Ah, the drive. Ah, y luego el nombre de la campaña. Let's yeah. clean the Cuatepeque Lake. Así se llama. Ah. Yes, the drive. Or let's the mm -hmm. drive x x y z. You can, or to be more specific, you would say the drive called blah 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 blah. Ah, okay. That, Siempre that, tenía esa duda. That, that, that way, it it sounds less confusing. Let's say. Ah, okay. Thank you. I always had that. that. But not driving. It's a no. Drive. It's dry. A dry. A dry. Ah, okay. Okay. Gracias. Yes, yes. And the other one is this one is in charge of okay and it's in charge of and then the same thing the verb plus ing okay is in charge of or um is in is in charge of and then the noun okay so whichever one of these two but we have to say in charge of Okay, so, so I do, what I want to emphasize is the responsible for, so the, the preposition we use is for, and then in charge of, the preposition is of. Okay, so make sure you use them like that. Okay? All right, any yeah. questions, any other questions? Guys? Yes, teacher. Marvin, you had a question? Teacher, uh, uh... In this case, I changed the word is compensation specialist is responsible for giving prices to employees. That's okay. good, very good. Okay, thank you. It's responsible. Responsible for giving prices. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. I wrote a sentence and using that rule, even I didn't know that rule. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes we do it um, not because we know grammatical rules, but because it, it just, um, it's, uh, what's the word? 
instinct. Uh, yeah, it, it, the, the word has put my mind. But uh, basically, mechanic. It, it's um, you pick it up simply from uh, like um, logic, you know, what you've heard of before. And so your brain kind of just, you know, uh, picks it up. Uh, but yeah, that's good. That's good. Just want to make want to make sure that everybody remembers that. So don't use the word to. Okay. So you can't say it's oh. responsible to. Okay. Um, now we can say. Oh, what we can say is this one. Responds to. And then the noun. So responds to. Remember, we saw this actually in one of the form in the forms yesterday. It says response to, and some people were asking me about that. What that means is who, who do they report to? Mm -hmm. Okay, they respond to, or they report to somebody. Okay, so in other words, who is their superior? Who do they have to make reports for? Like if they, if they, if something happens, if something goes wrong, they did something badly, uh, who is the person in, in to, on top of them that they need to um, they need to tell what happened? Basically. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Good. Any questions? Any other questions, guys? Something you want to ask? No. Let's move on then. Um, okay. So please let me know when you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher, we see it. Yes, I can see it. So we're going to be practicing a conversation. First of all, how often are trainings scheduled at your company? So I'm sure everybody in your company has trainings. Maybe not so often, but I'm sure you have. Do you attend or do you take the trainings? And I want you to explain. So we're gonna work with a partner. I want you first of all to discuss these questions. How often are trainings scheduled in your company? Do you attend or do you take training? You can also tell your, your classmate about the last training that you went to, okay? What happened, what was it about, when was it, et cetera, et cetera, okay? All right, okay. Okay. we understand the instructions, clear? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Um, Just make sure that everybody has a partner. Warner, are you? Warner, are you there? Oh, yes, teacher, only one teacher. Okay, uh, but you are home? You can, you can yes, talk? Yes, teacher, okay. my cell phone is chairs. Okay. Okay. For, I just wanted to make sure. So for camera, just yes. okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. No stay um, Twenty minutes is ready. One day I want to be like Warner, but I will be in three computers. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Yeah. Yeah. One. Um, one for audio and uh, one for like um, the side camera and the front. Exactly. <laughs> In order for the chair, the 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 pantalla of the teacher. Uh, yeah, I should have that, huh? Yeah. Uh, great, yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, so I'm going to open up the rooms. I want you to discuss about your trainings, okay? So remember, um, also tell you, Barnard, about the last training that you went to. Um, you know, even if maybe you don't take trainings very often, but I'm sure that you've gone to at least one training in your life. So talk about that one, okay? 
So I'll give you guys uh, about eight minutes. Okay, so I'm opening up the rooms. my company, trainings and, and, and trainings mm -hmm. are at least once a month and it depends of the department. Okay. And you, your department? My, my department is a uh, One, one capacitation, one training, sorry, one training, and, and, and once, about, once a about, month. About what? About what is the, is the okay. training? Me escucha. Yes. Fabiola? Mm -hmm. For example, for example, training of the cells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you attend take trainings? Fabiola, I'm sorry to bother you, but do you have <laughs> uh, your camera? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sometimes the um, training of sales liquors. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I don't know only that. Okay. In mm -hmm. my case, in my case, rarely had training. Uh, mm, I I can't attend because uh, in my a ver cómo se dice quarantine 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 eh, before the quarantine event okay Not quarantine. in my quarantine quarantine thank you teacher for the information. Yes. <laughs> okay. Quarantine. Quarantine. Okay. Quarantine. Okay. Uh, before the quarantine. Teacher, I can't quarantine. hear you. Quarantine sounds like the name of a girl. Quarantine. Oh, okay. Quarantine. Like Clementine. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in my in my work uh, before the quarantine, uh, program the quarantine. quarantine. Ah, okay. <laughs> Quar quarantine. <laughs> okay. For the quarantine, uh, human resources uh, the program. Uh, for two months, uh, tra well, uh, program trainings the two months to two months of the supervised production tables and train um, charts uh, to make charts in in Excel and. Okay, in, in my in my situation, 
I have, I must attend trainings almost daily. There is like, um, they, they have the control. They know who took the training or not because every training is a tool we have in our computer. And every training has an assessment at the end. But also you are forced or pushed to, to, to attend the, the, the trainers, the trainings, because uh, whenever they make a change, and if you are asking, looking for a solution or something, the first things they ask is, did you uh, attend the training? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is there. So you must attend the training. Mostly, I can say during the week, I have about three or four trainings. A lot of trainings. Oh, yes, for me. So, but you must do it. Some of them are for ethics or some of them are for the product knowledge. I don't, I don't understand or, or I, don't, I don't know. Oh, because in my case, is the who asked for the trainers choose in the your company. Uh, there are very a few in the years. So, mm -hmm. mm, uh, why is, uh, all trainers are on one or two in the year? Uh, como a lot of outside the country the capacitation capacitation so todas las capacitaciones son fuera del país so. uh, yes it, it is very uh, difficult but for uh, for the, the assistant uh, and then my company just yes, for is uh, very difficult difficult for cost mm, for, for cost yes do cost. you do you fight it helped me to me in in that in that process yeah but in in, in my case, is the same, the same, but I English is very important in my workplace. The my company is eighty uh, percent idiom English, and I really need to learn more to to. Uh, be better yes and you if, if the, the english if you don't practice you are going to lose that ability to remember the words vocabulary and uh, rules that way yeah. is for is is really really important teacher teacher i have a question oh okay sure uh -huh. Uh, all time I listen the uh, a word important. I, I would like to. Would you like to explain me what is the correct way to say important? Because sometimes I listen that the people speak. They say mm, important. Important, yeah, important. But, mm. If we say important, but they say important, something like yeah. that. Is, uh, American pronunciation and ojo con esto, like this is American pronunciation, we would say important. 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 It's at the, at the same time in the mountain. Exactly. It's the, the same mountain. of the mountain. Mountain. Star. Important. Important. Yeah. So, yes, American pronunciation. However, if you're going to stick with the British, it would be important. Important yeah. is like so, a schedule. They say chechel, something yeah, like that. Exactly. Chechel. So, car yeah. in the in this car car this car. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you, 
yeah something to keep in mind always that it's there's no one many times in english there's no one pronunciation many times there are many different pronunciations um it depends on where the person is from like I remember when I went to visit my parents in Boston and, and I saw, I listened three ways to say water, butter, water, but the water, water, eh, water. It's, it, sometimes you <laughs> accustomed to listen yeah. all those kind of way to say the same word. I am have the British accent. <laughs> 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 very good accent <laughs> yeah yeah uh, you really have other to. other accent is that it's horrible i i don't like to watch video his um uh, indian accent is horrible i don't know why but i don't like anything when you i when i try to watch a, a video about technical information and is if I see that is a, a Indian people or Indian person that is is going to do that course, I decide to close because I prefer to find another uh, British or North American accent. No, but don't do that. You know, <laughs> you, will, you will miss out on so much. No, it's you... like a, it's like a Australian. I remember that I Australian. Uh, Australian. I had a teacher from Australian, and they say the English really large sound when they speak. I, I, it's, I, it's really a little bit, a little different, a little bit. Yeah, the thing about Australians is that Australians, their origin is from England. Mm -hmm. So they have like a British accent, but it's a more relaxed British accent because Australians by nature are very relaxed. So, you know, it's like a mix between British and American. Mm, it's really different. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main group. In the okay. Main group. okay. All right. okay we, we, we finished the task, teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, we are practicing. <laughs> practicing. Good, very good. Okay, see you guys in a moment. Okay, okay. teacher. Teacher is here again. <laughs> she is run. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, guys. So, um, all right. So I'm ha I'm hoping everybody had the opportunity of reading. Sorry of uh sorry of um speaking uh, about the the training opportunities. Um. So tell me. How many of you have training opportunities every month? Teacher in, in my company, all, all months, all months, right, receive the training and better. Yeah, but uh, is I have, uh, we receive in training to uh, quality energy and security all the month huh. okay all right good 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 what about the the others how many of you have that part that opportunity of having a training every month uh in my case teacher i have training all weeks every week yes but the, because uh, i am enroll of training of uh, excel I had the training all 
school Wednesday in the afternoon. And apart of this, uh, I find uh, other trainings by my way. Uh, for example, I find different trainings uh, about Excel because uh, I use Excel a lot in my in my in my position. Okay, okay, sounds good. What about the others? Uh, in my case, <laughs> in my case, teacher. Uh huh. Uh, yes. In my case, uh, in my company, have a platform that uh, we we have the opportunity to decide uh, which one uh, uh, training uh, like, and we can. Uh, um, take the training and uh, in my case uh, my comp in my, my, my in my work I I sign I sign me uh, more or less four or five uh, training in the month minimum and other uh, in the platform, only virtual. In other train, in other training, uh, the civil security too. Mm -hmm. And other training, this necessary, uh, the presencial. But right now, don't have a presencial training for pandemic. But uh, is very uh, important for my company too, the training presencial too. Okay, sounds, sounds good, very good, excellent. Um, just, just um, this is actually a, a word that I think everybody, uh, it's, I think everybody needs specifically because we use this word for our class. And I'm gonna write the word in the, chat okay platform so this word if you notice is different from spanish because in spanish we have an a in between the t and the f so in spanish we say plata forma with an a plata forma but in English, there is no A in between the T and the F. So we do not say platform, but we just say platform, okay, platform. Okay, so everybody remember this because this is something that we, we use in our class, right? We use a platform for platform. our, yeah, a platform, mm -hmm. okay? So keep that in mind, very good, excellent. And Ana Claudia, I'm interested you said every day yes we have a, the same as wendy we have a platform and as we have a, at 8 a.m every day the name i guess is daily debrief well there is a meeting oh. and at 8 a.m no 7 a.m they always uh send us an announcement that we need to review this, 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 and always this platform litmus. We need to check on that because mostly uh, there are three or four trainings during the week and you must um, uh, complete them because they are measuring, measuring the percent of team members who completed and they have due time also. But the thing is that some of them are for quality or for the product knowledge or they are for uh, different topics. So you need to, we need to achieve them. And if we don't show the 100% of completion at the end of the week, uh, they are like pushing, you need to blah, blah, blah. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, mm. I understand. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. So every day, huh? Yes, we must review that that uh, platform every day at 7 a.m. And you must complete 
complete them at least at 8 a.m. They are, sometimes they are short trainings, uh, 15 minutes, but sometimes they are long trainings, 45 minutes, and uh, but it's necessary to take them. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so let's move on with our presentation here. So we had we had a chance at, at discussing these questions. Oh, hold on. So I want you, these are some questions I want you to keep in mind while we uh, read the conversation. The questions are: What is Mr. Paris's role in the company? What do you think is going to happen next? Okay. So keep those questions in mind as we read the following conversation. And for this, I'm actually going to read the conversation and I like you guys to read after me. Okay, so repeat after me. So this is a conversation between Mr. Perez and Jack, Jackie. Good morning. 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 This is Mr. Paris. This is Mr. Paris. Paris. Hello, Mr. 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 Paris. This is Jackie. This is, this is Jackie. Jackie. I have just come in. I have I just, just come, come, in. come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our company, company Jackie. Jackie. Your company. Your company. Your company. You are part of our family now. You are part, 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 part of our family now. Family now. Our family now. Family now. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks, Thanks a lot, sir. Lot, sir. sir. You're welcome. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. 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 Do you know the procedures to request training? Do you, Do you know, know the, the procedures to request to request training? Training? request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. I am I afraid, afraid, afraid I, don't, I don't, sir. OK, let me explain this to you. OK, okay let, let me explain, explain this, this to you first. 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 first First. 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 Okay, good. All right, very good, very good, guys. All right, but, all right now, um, questions about this, the vocabulary. What is the meaning of so fray? Uh, sorry, could you repeat that question? Uh, what is the meaning of, of a phrase? Oh, okay. Okay, any other words? Any other words? No, that's it? Okay. Afraid, the word afraid means scared. Okay. Afraid or scared. Now, in this context, it means it does not mean like, like oh, like afraid, scared. Not like that kind of thing. It's like when you say in Spanish, it's, a, it's an expression. Just like when you say in Spanish, temo que blah, 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 blah. Oh. Or in this one, yes. it means temo que, me temo que no. Yes, I, I was thinking why, why she is afraid. <laughs> yeah, but it's the, in that context, that expression, me temo uh, que, que no, right? Ah, uh, okay. 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 Anything else? Um, 
Okay, and they're asking me about um, I've just come in. Um, in this case, what it means is, um, it means like I'm new. I just, I just, uh, joined. Okay. I, I'm, I'm new. I just joined. Acabo de entrar, right? To the company. We're talking about mm -hmm. the company. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Yeah, no? Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the to work with your your classmates with the same partner as before. And this time you're going to be reading the conversation. So you're gonna practice it with your partner. And you're gonna answer these questions that we have here. Okay? Teacher, I'm sorry, the attendance. Oh, thank you for reminding me. All right, thank you. Okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, just a second. Okay, so we'll start from the top. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Um, Fabiola. Present teacher. Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Uh, Johnny. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Um. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jerry. Present teacher. Josue. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. Marvin. I'm still here, teacher. Manuel. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Warner. I think Warner had something that happened. Warner, are you still there? Well, yeah, I think something happened. He had an emergency. Um, okay. Um, Yvonne? Present. Okay. Francisco? Uh, Francisco Javier? Uh, Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. So I only, the only people I didn't hear were Melissa and Francisco Javier. Okay. All right, perfect. So we have everybody else. Okay, good. Very, very good, guys. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go, we're going to now join our groups again. Um, Give me one moment while I figure this out.
Okay. All right. So like I said, practice the conversation with your partner, switch roles. So one time you're going to be Mr. Paris, the other one, the other time you're going to be Jackie. And then as you're going to yeah, have the opportunity of reading both and then answering the questions. Okay. So here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, okay. now, now I you start. Yes. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You are welcome. Your, co your company. You are part of our family now. Thank you a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures procedures to risk risk free training? Procedures. I, procedures. No, procedures. 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 Repeat from that. Proceed. Procedures. Jurors. Procedures. Procedures. Yeah, there you go. Nice <laughs> okay. I am afraid. I don't start. Okay. Let me explain this to you first. Okay. Okay. Again. Mm, I am Mr. Perez and you, Jackie. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. You are company. You are part of our family now. Thanks. Hello, sir. Sorry, I'm going to sorry, I'm going to interrupt a moment. Jenny, can you repeat that, that part again? Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Okay, see that the you have to be careful with the with the intonation because the way you're your the intonation you're giving to that sounds like a question. Um right? now, now right. So just, you gotta be careful with that intonation. You okay. want to try that again? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. <laughs> no. Yes, exactly. You are you are confirming, right? You're saying you're part mm -hmm. of our company now, right? In fact, you can even say it with like more like enthusiasm, right? You're part mm -hmm. of our company now, right? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Yeah, I, I, I know it's tricky. It's tricky, but you know, those little details make a big difference in the way that you communicate with people, right? Um, so, so yes, you know, it may not, 
it may be just a little intonation here or there. It might be just a, a, a syllable that you didn't pronounce correctly, but it makes a difference, right? So the, the more you fine tune it, the better you will sound, okay? okay. So very good. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank I love here. Uh, uh, Mr. Perez is, is like a, a training in charge or something like that. Okay, okay. A request. Pedido. Request. Request, request training. The procedure to request training. Maybe he's introduced a new, a new employee, but this employee is going to be a part of human resources because uh, uh, Mr. Perez tell her, do you know the procedures to request training? ¿Usted conoce el procedimiento de pedido de, person de, pedido de entrenamiento? Training. Okay. Yes, like a capacitation. No, okay. Okay. No pedido, solicitud. Solicitud, okay. Uh -huh. And request training. I think, do you know the brochure to request? I think this person going to re receive a training, maybe an induction about the company, information or benefits or compensation, something like that. Maybe uh, it is going to happen next. Very good, Irene. Remember that yes. we don't say, we don't pronounce it Duke, but duck. So duck. Duck. induction. Induction, okay. induction. Okay, Just induction. Like duck. Production, induction. Okay, thank you, induction. Production, induction. <laughs> okay, I I agree with you, Irene, because the the Jackie is a new employee, and and she need uh, uh, the the start with the uh, training, know the the structure, know the policies, the the, the new company. Yes, yes, maybe so. about about salary, about uh, schedule. <laughs> Where and is the then, bathroom? Yes, <laughs> yes, so important, so important. The most, the most important. Where is the cafeteria and where is the bathroom? Yes, yes. And <laughs> how much? And how much you are, you receive monthly? Maybe how much money? Do you re going to receive monthly for the paycheck? Yes. Yes. And and she she explained about the the benefits. In this case, I think that Mr. Perez sounds like a talent management consultant. Yes. Yes, because, because uh huh. I, I, I how I say. Oh, I, a few minutes ago, the recruiting coordinator is in charge to phone call to the postulants or mm -hmm. plan, planning the uh, uh, the meetings or interviews. Correct. The coordinated the interviews. Uh, recruiting in my company, uh, the recruiting coordinator. Yes. Is a uh, is a uh, uh, have a uh, obligation that call the the person, but uh, the talent the talent management uh, is the in charge that. Say the explain the induction, meaning induction. Mm -hmm. For me, to Mr. Perry, he's the talent management uh, consultant. Wendy, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, do you, is your camera working? 
Teacher, sorry, and right now I kitchen, I cook my dinner tomorrow <laughs> and I, <laughs> I um, step by step in my, in my kitchen. Sorry, teacher. Okay, all right. Well, thank you for your honesty. Um, okay. I'm right. cooking right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, just Wendy, um, remember it's recruiting. Recruiting. No, no, recruiting. Recru recruiting? Yes, recruiting. Recruiting. Is it is is the same double R recruiting? Recruiting, yes. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, uh, the the induction is is correct. Induction. Induction. Yes. Not induct. Induct. Induction. Yes, induction training. Induction training, okay. okay. All right, I'll, so I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, see you. Teacher, I'm going to leave to work. I don't know. <laughs> now? <laughs> yeah, uh, the transport is, the transport is coming to me. Uh, Marvin was the person that the, 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 he, he didn't join with me at the room the last year, oh. last, last day, right? I, I was waiting for you, Marvin, yesterday. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay man. Uh, good night, everyone. Bye, Marvin. Marvin, Pete. Marvin, 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 me? Compañía de Ivan. Tenía Shakira, no sé quién. De Shakira. Shakira. De Hollywood Shakira. Todo bueno que ah, fichajes tenía. Marvin Pitt Truck. And Tom Cruise. Yes. Tom Cruise, correcto. Uh -huh. Tomás Cruz. Pa Paulina Brondi. Ah, yeah. <laughs> right. The Golden Girl. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, guys, excellent. So let's talk about this. Um, where is it? Let's see. Okay, so let's talk about this. These questions. What is Mr. Pear's role in the company? Could be a human research manage, manager, human research. Yeah, could be a human resource manager, could be, yeah. And if he's a specialist? Could be. Mm -hmm. Recruiting coordinator. Uh, talent, I think <laughs> was, uh, talent management, cons management. consultant. Consul. Yeah, management consultant, okay. Sorry, talent management consultant. Okay. All right. What do you think is going to happen next? Uh, I think that Mr. Perez uh, could be explaining the different areas in the company or talk her about the, the next steps in her trainee. Could be. I, I think this, he explained this. the training 
about the training. What training? Induction training. Induction okay. training. Induction. 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 Induction training. Ah, thank you. Yes. Induction. Remember, this is the same as production. Okay. Induction. Induction. Production. Induction. Induction. What, what in English. <laughs> Imaginemos que estamos practicando chicle. Induction. Induction. Exactly. So, remember what I told you before. If it helps, uh, exaggerate. So you say induction. Induction. Okay. All right, but you know, it, you know, it's it's yeah. You know, just have fun with it. But yes, it's induction, just like production. All right. So induction. Induction. Uh huh. Good. Could be an induction training. Yes. What else? Any other? Anything else that you think is going to happen? No. That's it. Okay. Okay. Good. So, <laughs> speaking about this, let's see what actually does happen. Um, or better said, no, not what does happen. But let's talk about. Um, different types of training requests. Uh, how do you, how do you um, request for a training? Well, uh, in this company, there are certain procedures that you have to, you have to do. So we're going to be reading these procedures. Okay. And I'm going to procedures. do it like this. Um, I'm going to assign different people in random order. Um, let's have it. Okay, vamos a hacerlo así. Number one, Warner. Number two, Wendy. Three, Luis. Four, Jenny. Five, Jerry. Six, Juan, Juan Francisco. Eh, seven, Edgar. Eight, Heidi. Nine, Johnny. And ten, Janet. Okay? So let's read one by one. We're, we're not going to read it all at once. We're going to read it one by one. Okay? So we're going to read it. We're going to stop. Okay? All right. So let's start there with, I think, Warner was the first one, or? Okay. okay. First, uh, choice the trainer you are interested on. Listen on the bulletin board. Listed. Listen, sorry. Listen. No. The... Listed. Listen. Yes. Listen. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Questions about the meaning or vocabulary for this one. Bulletin. Bulletin. Bo bulletin board. Yes, bulletin board. Bulletin board is like a like a table on the wall that you put important information for the company. Okay. Uh, in Spanish, you would say tablero. El periódico mural. <laughs> ¿El qué? El periódico mural se le llama comúnmente yes. en algunos lados. <laughs> La lista de cumpleaños. <laughs> Ajá. <It's cool. laughs> but, yeah, okay, well, but you guys get the idea. Huh? Okay. All right. Any other words or, like, vocabulary or pronunciation you want to go through? No? Okay, let's go to number two. Check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions about the meaning of the vocabulary or pronunciation? Okay, just wanted to make sure you pronounce this correctly. 
Management. 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 The stress is on the first syllable. Management. 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 And Management. this is pronounced consultant. 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 Okay. Consultant. Again, I'm going to remind you, very, very important to remember that the letter U in English, most of the time, let's say about 70 to 80% of the time is not pronounced U, but U. Uh. Okay, so most of the time it's pronounced U, uh, not U. So that's why it's consul, uh, uh, consultant, not consultant. Okay. So remember, uh, 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 consultant. 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 It's a rule about Management that. In that case, that we are going to say a short son or alert son uh, vocal in that Char. way. You, sorry, could you repeat that again? There is a rule in that case that we when are we when when we are going to use a short son or large son. Long, a uh, short or long sound. Mm -hmm. Sound. Uh, no, I, I. From what I'm aware of, no. Um, there's no. Rule. Teacher. Yes. My my kid is starting the bilingual college uh, school. Well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the vowel say a e i o ah, is the long sound ah, in with the when the word is mm, use u uh, como salvadoreño u uh, is that short now short sound i don't know this is the yes you're right yes exactly the 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 long sound well the long sound is um, usually when you have to, um, yeah, make it longer, basically, right? So, um, like, like ooh, right? The ooh. But uh, the question that uh, Jerry was asking was if there is a rule, if there is a rule um, to knowing when it's a short or long sound. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't know of any rule that tells us this. But what I can tell you is that most of the time, 80% of the time, you're going to pronounce the U as uh, um, as um, uh, okay, most of the time. So like umbrella, right? Uh, consultant, right? Um, you know, hot, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, most of the time, like I would say like 80% of the time, it's gonna be uh. So my suggestion, try first the uh sound instead of science, instead of trying the, the uh sound. Okay, that's my suggestion. All right, now, most of the time, if you're gonna get like an uh sound, like a long uh, um, it would be because you combine it with a letter, like an E, for example, like in the, the word glue. Okay, so there you would say glue, right? So it's, yes, it's long in that way. Okay, but it's because the E changes it. The E at the end changes it. So the E is silent because it's at the end of the, of the word, but it's gonna change the, the sound of the U, okay? Um, but like I said, my suggestion, try first the short sound, the short U, because it's more likely that that's gonna be the answer. That's gonna be the correct way, okay? Does that, ans does that answer your question? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Okay, all right, let's continue. Number three. 
Okay, number three, saying a note requesting your participation. Thank you. Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Okay. We understand the meaning of requesting. Requesting. To request, you understand the meaning of, or to request? Solicitu. Yeah. To request is ask for. And it's like a formal way of asking. So request is to solicitar. Or in this case, solicitando. Okay. All right, number four. Sorry, teacher. Why the name of the training you need? Thank you. Questions? I think that's pretty straightforward. Okay, number five. Specify the day of hours of instruct instruction. Okay, same rule. We're looking at the U. What? The instruction. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I forget it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Instruction. Okay, the, rule, the rule is, let's say the rule for you is first try with the short sound. That's okay. the rule first, okay? Instruction. Uh, instruction. Instruction. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. Um, okay, very good. Um, questions about the vocabulary, pronunciation? Okay, I'm just going to call your attention to this word. Yep. Specify. Everybody? Specify. 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 Please do not pronounce it as is specify. 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 And it's not specify. It's not specify. 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 Yeah. Specify. Okay. Number six. Okay. Number six. Mention the place where the event will take place. Thank you. Okay, questions? Okay, just remember I once again, yeah. this word is pronounced mm -hmm. event, event, not event. Event, no, event. Yes. So it's a long sound. Event, event, not event. Okay, number seven. Uh, specify the price of the training. Thank you. Questions about the vocabulary? I think that's down, that's pretty straightforward. Number eight. Number eight. Send it to human resources department. Thank you. Okay. Very good questions about the vocabulary. Pronunciation. Pretty straightforward too, right? Okay, number nine. Make sure to include all the information requests. Okay, thank you. Questions about the vocabulary, pronunciation. And this include, include, include. It's ah or you. <laughs> include, included. That one, that one is going to be. Uh, I guess that. I, I, I guess 
is because the rule is when you have a letter E at the end, you are going to say uh. Um, not all the time, but yes, that is a rule. Mm -hmm. Okay, and remember that you also have to with um, with the past participles, you gotta make sure that you pronounce the ed at the end. So this is requested, not just request, requested. So we have an extra syllable in there because the word request finishes in a t sound. So we have to make sure that we can distinguish between the, the base form and some, the, the past participle. So requested to an accessible, requested, okay? All right, and number 10. If information is missing in the note, we will not authorize any training. Thank you. Questions about pronunciation or vocabulary? Okay, English is weird in the sense that uh, the the, voc the vowels have different sounds. They don't they don't sound sometimes like they would look like they sound. So this word over here looks like you would pronounce it authorize. That's how it looks like, but you don't say authorize. You say authorize. Okay, so make sure you pronounce it all off. Authorize. Okay, so not au is authorize. Repeat authorize. 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 Yes, very good. Authorize. It's just the authorize. same thing like August. August? You don't authorize. say authorize. 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 Australia. Australia. <sighs> Okay. Australia. You do not say Australia. It's not Australia. 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 You say uh, Australia. 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 In Queen. Yes. My goodness. So Australia, no, it's us, us, and it's not Australia. Australia. It's not Australia. It's Australia. 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 Yes. Australia, Australia. Okay. Good. So, so and, and for example, authorization should be the correct pronunciation. Authorization. 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 Right. Authorize. Authorization. Authorization. Okay. Authorization. Although it is possible to say authorize, authorization, it's also possible. Authorize. Oh, oh, you say? Authorization. Ay, me <laughs> authorization. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, I do want to, I want to clarify something for you. The pronunciations that we're looking at here are mostly American pronunciations. Mm -hmm. If we're doing British pronunciation, that's a whole mm -hmm. different story. Okay, so just, you know, para que lo tomen en cuenta, se podían, pero el teacher me dijo otra cosa, and it's because it's um, what I'm just, I, I just want to clarify that mm -hmm. this is looking at British, sorry, American, sorry, American, American pronunciation, sorry, not British, because um, British has a very different pronunciation, okay, all right. Now, types of trainings that we have in this company are excellent customer service, improving uh, computer skills, organizing time, effective communication, creating websites, learning about writing skills, and others. Do we have any questions about the meaning of the vocabulary? Oh. 
note. So all of these are clear for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Now, having said that, let's look at here how we can help someone complete a training note. So these are the different trainings we, that we just talked about right now. We have six different trainings. We have the date that they begin. So they're gonna be, they're going to be beginning soon because if they start in July, here's the amount of time that they're going to be lasting for, the place where it's going to take place and how much is the cost of taking the training. Okay. What you're gonna do is use the information below to help a colleague to fill out a training um, note form. Okay, so here, oops, sorry. So here we have the training note. You're gonna work with a partner and help your partner complete the information and uh, yeah, help them out to complete it using the, the information here, right? The training note and the, play, the employee's name. So I'm going to get you guys to go back to your groups and help your partner fill out this in according to which training they are interested in. So right now think about which training from these provided would you be interested in and help your partner to complete the note. Okay, got it? Okay, I'm gonna open up the groups right now. Here we go. In your case, and the running. Excellent customer service. Excellent customer service. La fecha de ahorro. Uh, place price. Perdón. Uh, Tú ves el, 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 el nombre del. del The name of the employee. Uh huh. No. I don't, no, no lo veo los. What is your question, Anka? Teacher, uh, employee's name? That would be, for example, uh, you are helping uh, Yvonne, so. The, that would be your Yvonne's name, right? So you're gonna write Sulema, Yvonne, Moreno, Hernandez. Okay. okay. Training note is the name of the event. The, yeah, the training note is for the information of the event. 
Okay, so you're gonna write down the information about the event, what day it is, uh, you know, how many hours, what's the name of the event, um, what's the cost. Okay. 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 Excellent okay. customer service, improving computer skills, cell center or hello teacher and the price is forty dollars. Okay. And employee's name is your name, Manuel Alejandro. Rodríguez. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you? Learning about reading yes. or writing. Yes. Writing. Mm -hmm. Writing skills. The date is July twenty eighth. <laughs> No tiene fecha, ¿verdad? Miss Jessica, I have a question. Okay. I have one evaluation of the university right now. Can I can I leave? Sure. Yeah. But what happened with uh assistance oh with the attendance um, yeah okay I'll, I'll i'll keep you in mind because i need to stay in the 100 percent of the attendance don't worry okay. i i'll 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 keep that in mind thank you for okay. that. thanks teacher <laughs> Are you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Good. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Recording in progress. The student is in process to go to the bed. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> okay. All right. You will be before you go to bed, just take five minutes to complete the platform. I say that each what <laughs> before you go to bed, just take five minutes to complete the platform. I don't know about Sila Teach. Uh, Anna Claudia knows me so well. <laughs> <laughs> knows exactly what's what's next. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, so I hope you guys had a chance there to um, complete that and um, help your partner. Now, uh, just going to take attendance quickly. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Uh, Andres. Present. Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Present teacher. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Uh, sorry. Uh, Present teacher. Here. Okay, good. Uh, Johnny? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Josue? 
Josue. Oh no, I just remembered, never mind, forget it. Uh, yes, I remember. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jerry. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Um, Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. Ma Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. I know he's not here. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Warner. Present teacher. Uh, I, Yvonne. Present teacher. Francisco Javier. And Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. All right, guys, so that will be all for today. Um, I just, I have, well, uh, I have uh, for our schedule, I have um, on the schedule Fabiola. Fabiola, will you be able to stay for the tutoring? No, teacher. Okay, okay, no problem. Is there anybody that would like to take advantage of this time for the tutoring? Anybody needs um, a little bit of help? No? Okay. No? Okay, okay. All right, guys, so that will be all for today. Um, your only homework is to work on the platform. Yes, okay, so make sure that you complete it. I don't want you guys to fall behind um, and um, that'll be it, okay? Ah, chicos, um, creo que esta semana es la última que queda ahí para, para lo, los documentos. Así es que, please, 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 make sure this week you um, talk to your um, to human resources and make sure that they have sent it, okay? Okay. So, okay. okay. Have a wonderful uh, night, okay? Thank you. Good night, Thank teacher. You. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye, teacher. Goodbye, fellow. Bye. See you. See you, teachers.